Yes, it's the final countdown for Telangana. All eyes will be on Parliament today as government looks all set to push through the contentious Telangana bill in the House. The Congress has already issued a three-line whip to its members, asking them to be present in the Lok Sabha. Notwithstanding protests that have come in from Seema Andhra leaders, plans are afoot in the government to bring the Telangana bill for debate in the Lok Sabha today itself. The government is, however, also exploring the option of passing this bill without a discussion in case Seema Andhra MPs disrupt the proceedings. Yesterday, Sushil Kumar Shinde and Jairam Ramesh met senior BJP leaders to seek their support for the passage of this bill. The BJP is in favour of the bill, but with some riders. Last evening, ministers and MPs from Seema Andhra region also met Rahul Gandhi to press for their demands. They demanded union territory status for Hyderabad and a merger of Karnool and Anantpur with Telangana to avoid future water problems. The leaders from Seema Andhra also demanded inclusion of uh, Bhatcharlan to Seema Andhra. Sources say that leaders promise to support this bill if some of these demands are met. So with the bill for formation of separate state of Telangana set to come up for debate in parliament today, Andhra Pradesh Chief Minister Kiran Kumar Reddy is getting set to quit. Reddy may resign today after the Telangana bill is taken up for discussion in parliament. The Chief Minister is meanwhile busy holding discussions with his ministers and legislators from Seema Andhra region to chalk out their future course of action which could include floating a new political party. He may become the first casualty of the Andhra Pradesh bifurcation. Sources have told headlines today that Kiran Kumar Reddy may resign from the post of Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh. Reddy has been vocal in his opposition to the division. The Chief Minister even dared the Congress party to sack him. The bill, they have sent it to the Assembly. If uh, they feel that it is full-fledged and correct, and if this bill is put in parliament and, uh, and passed, I said I will quit politics. Because this is an incomplete bill, this is a draft bill without the objects and reasons and aims. But the question is, why didn't the Congress party itself take any action against him? Sources tell headlines today that the party high command didn't want to convey the impression that the party is acting against Simandra leaders. Secondly, they want to pass the bill first and then solve the crisis in Hyderabad. And finally, the party doesn't want Kiran Kumar Reddy to become a martyr and reap political benefits, though the chief minister has been told not to cross the line. You are saying that they will not like what you are doing. Have you been told? Have you been told in so many words that Mr. Reddy, what you are doing, we do not like? Yes, obviously, obviously, obviously. But I have said very clearly, my career is not important, I am not important. The state is important, the future of the people is important. That is exactly why I have to take a decision like this. An already embarrassed Congress doesn't want to keep the Telangana decision pending. It's a political risk that may or may not bring dividends. But in spite of the opposition, the party is willing to pay the price. With T.S. Sudhir in Hyderabad, Bureau Report, Headlines Today.